Live. All right, are we are we live for sure, Tech? We're live. We're live. <clears throat> I'm recording. I don't know what you said that last time, and we weren't live. Oh, we're live now. We live. Well, let's make sure, Tech. Are we live? We live. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's up, everybody? What is happening? What's going on? Today is June tenth, ninth. I'm oh, sorry, June tenth, tenth, two thousand twenty. We are. <laughs> We are at home at the crib doing our show for the second month in a row here. Tired of being at home. Tired of staying at home. They're getting ready to open shit up. We're so excited about that. Uh, we are the Mentality Show. We are here live on Facebook Live. We're not at the studio right now. Again, we are at our homes. And uh, we are always in business, always back in business. We have not stopped doing our show just because of this coronavirus and all this shit going on in the world. They say when the world ends, it's just gonna be cockroaches in the mentality show. And we are happy to do that and happy to be here for you folks. So again, it's June 10th, 2020. A lot of shit going on in our world today. I'm your host, Delano. I got my boy Vato V, Tech C, Scully, and my man KC. We are here ready to talk our minds, speak our hearts about what's happening in the world and what's happening in your world. So, let's do it, gentlemen. The floor is open. What do you want to talk about this week? What's on your minds? We're going to get into the Scully Red rant today also. Trust <laughs> me, there's a lot he wants to talk about. Vato V, he definitely has a lot on his mind. Uh, KC, you're not smoking today, so I know you got a lot to say. Doesn't look like <laughs> you got any, anything in your hand right now. Tech C, he ain't going to say shit. He never does, but he's here with us. We're happy to have him. So, hey. I'm going to let you guys take it from here, and then I'll just kind of, you know, chime in. I'm going to be kind of quiet today. So, Vato V, you always have something to say. What's up? What's up? What's up on your mind, man? What's up? What do you want to talk about? Hey, well, you know, um, they buried they buried Mr. Floyd a couple of days ago, uh, you know, which was like rest in peace. And, you know, um, hopefully things uh, calm down a little bit in, in, in that respect. Uh, but things are still, you know, like I was tripping out on, on Hollywood. They had the, the Black Lives Matter uh, humongous crowd, you know, and like all of a sudden, like you see, you see what's going on in the crowd, and all of a sudden, the, the news started talking about the coronavirus again. <laughs> so it's like, what the hell? Like really? Like, you know, it was gone for about a week, and all of a sudden, they're talking about the coronavirus again. Uh, the CDC's telling people, everybody that protested, everybody, all the mayhem that was going on. Now they let them know, hey, why don't you guys, you guys need to self-quarantine for at least 14 days. That's the recommendation that they're, that they're having. So, you know, they're saying that now and in, in the United States, we're averaging 20,000 plus people are 20,000 plus new cases a day for the virus. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's where we're at. That's what they're saying, 20,000 <laughs> a day? They're saying 20,000 daily. That are, are coming up now are from Memorial Weekend, all the fools that are out there hanging out. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, yeah, they're talking about they're talking about because of the because of the protests and all that stuff. That's what's going on. Um, the the National Guard. I think the protest people that are going to get Corona are going to come up in the next week or two. The yeah, two weeks. Right now, the people are getting it right now are the people that are hanging out for Memorial Weekend. They're out, you know, partying and doing all that stuff, hanging out. Memorial Weekend is what's right now coming up. Yeah. As coronavirus, next week will be the, the protest. <clears throat> Let me ask you something. If they do that, if these numbers come out and they're huge numbers, they're already talking about uh, opening things back up, stage one, opening gyms and movie theaters and things like that. Do you think if these numbers are like super high, they're gonna? They said down? they said if the numbers spike again, they're gonna do. We're gonna go back to some restrictions. They're gonna fall back. Huh. Wow, as they, they should, as they should, yeah, as they should. I agree with that. Uh, but, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Casey. I, I mean, as much as those doctors were saying, shit's supposed to happen. I mean, yeah. the, the, they're saying they'll be surprised if something doesn't, if our numbers don't go up. Well, and, if our numbers don't go up, with all this protesting and people not wearing masks and people not social distancing, if the numbers don't go up, that tells me that maybe they've been kind of bullshitting a little bit about this coronavirus. Like, it's not as bad. I'm going to talk like Scully here is not as bad as they've been saying it is. Uh, because, I mean, you've seen people up in each other's faces. I mean, yelling at each other. I mean, spinning on one another. The, even the reporters putting mics right in people's, like, right on their damn lips and shit. I mean, 
Yeah, yeah, I was kissing two girls at the same time because I was so, <clears throat> in, you know, inspired. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're inspired, but worried worried about these people at the same time. I'm you know. Just fucking around. I, was <laughs> oh, you know what? I wasn't Keep out there. Man. This whole fucking shutdown wasn't to stop people from getting it. It was to make sure the hospitals didn't get to a situation where they couldn't handle the sicknesses. It's a virus. Everyone has to get it. And the more that gets it faster, the quicker we get through it. So, so the hospitals can catch up, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, don't, they didn't want to overload them. And, and they never did. And they aren't now, which is why they're still opening things up. Well, if 20,000 people a week or a day, like Vato V said. That's, a, that's, what I, that's my understanding. They, uh, they're talking about like 20,000 new cases were... You know, for I'm, I'm, I think it's gonna be a week, not 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 daily, but you know, I think it's gonna be uh, weekly. Twenty thousand people—that's that's a lot, man. That's that's a lot. We're approaching oh, so two those million. Are estimations. We're approaching we're approaching a two million. If not, we're already there uh, as far as people uh, cases in the United States, which is like obviously the most in the world. Uh, and then we're approaching uh, we're approaching close to one hundred and seventy-five thousand deaths already. So that's a lot. One hundred and twenty thousand. I'm sorry, one hundred twenty thousand deaths. In the United States already. What, there's a nation out there that's actually Corona. They were talking about on CNN. that's coronavirus free. Have you guys heard that story? Oh, uh, hey, uh, uh, New, Ze New Zealand. They're talking New about New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah, yeah, New Zealand. They're actually coronavirus free. How the fuck is that possible with mm -hmm. all this going on right now? I mean, do people? Oh, I know why. Nobody ever shit. goes. Nobody <laughs> ever goes to New Zealand. That's why. Hey, but New Zealand is. <laughs> hey, New Zealand looks fucking. New just, Zealand is fucking nice, man. Looks have any nice. of y'all been there? I never heard nope. anybody say, you know what? I want to go to New Zealand this summer. I'm going to go to New Zealand right. next year. A lot of, uh, I know they drink a lot of beer. A lot of lamb. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they got, a, they got a lot of lambs. I know Flight of the Concords is from New Zealand. That's, that's all I know about them, you know. And Australians hate them. So New, Ze New Zealand Avenue. <laughs> I know all about New Zealand. Those are those horses that are black and white striped. Oh, zebra. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so they're getting ready. So they're getting ready to open shit back up. Uh, what do you guys miss the most? What are you? What are you? What's the first thing you're gonna do when you go out in there, out in the world, in society? What do you? What's the first thing you want to take advantage of? You said meat. Is that what you said? Wings. 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 Oh, you do that shit anyway. You eat that. I can serve you a, a coronavirus plate full of wings. You'll still eat that shit. <laughs> You're not open well, I, you know what? I forget you guys are in L.A. County, dude. We're open out here, man. I went to BJ's last weekend, and it was interesting to see them try and, uh, I guess, adhere to the rules. Mm -hmm. It was interesting, man. They How was it? Talk. How was it? Was it? I mean, did they keep the social distancing? Was the yeah, waiter? Yeah. yeah, they did a good job of it. Um, so you walk up, people are sitting outside because you're not allowed to sit in the waiting area inside, which is normally too small anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so you put your name in there and then they send you outside and then they go and sanitize a table and they're skipping booths. Okay. And, the bars, and the bar was closed. The worst right. part is, because I mean, you guys know how I feel about it. Up, up comes this waiter wearing a mask. Mm. Oh my fucking god, dude! He's like literally standing there a couple feet from me, and I can't understand a word he's fucking saying. And it's just like, dude, take that goddamn thing off so I can order my damn beer. <laughs> I like the coronavirus special, please. Um, I, <laughs> yes, yes, order that bitch up with gravy. <laughs> hey, hey, my advice to anybody that goes out to restaurants right now: bring your own silverware, take your own forks, your own spoons maybe knives or whatever, I would not trust using that silverware. You know, I used to work in the restaurant industry, and they barely wash those dishes. They barely uh, wash that to, shit. So. Uh, Delano used to bust a nut in the fucking, uh, <laughs> on the silverware. <laughs> and they barely wash that shit. So can ima you can imagine yeah. all the I thought that was spilled milk. <laughs> Sour milk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's you, you might want to start doing that. That would be a good idea. I mean, um, uh, I mean, because you can imagine what could be spread, not even just the coronavirus. I mean, you got all the H's. Remember, we got H's out there, too. Not just coronavirus. H's still exist. Really? All these H viruses. All these H viruses are still out there. Finally, there's a C virus that you right now has no cure. There's always been that H virus, but, you know, C's are catching up. Good job, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> the alphabet, that would be great. Right? A, B, C virus. 
<laughs> uh, but it was good getting out, man. If you guys haven't been anywhere, and that was my actual, I've been ordering food to go since the beginning, but it was kind of cool to go actually sit down, order a fucking beer and, and some food. It was kind of cool. But the bar, oh yeah, you could order it from the waiter. Couldn't huh? sit at the bar, but the bar seating area was still open. Oh, so the bar tender still making drinks and things like that. They're right? making it, but you could not like sit right at the bar, which I thought was a little silly. Just skip a stool or two. I mean, you yeah, know, like, it's hard for these businesses when you tell them you can only open at twenty five percent because I can guarantee you their fucking rent on that building isn't at twenty five percent. Yep. Oh, of course not. No, hell no. Yeah, you know, I was tripping out. I was, I was reading. I was reading something about Starbucks that Starbucks is closing about 400, 400 stores or four hundred places. I'm uh, like, how the, I'm like, how the fuck are you closing four hundred stores when like the lines of the Starbucks are like out the damn doors? You know what I mean? Like around the the the, the what is it? The drive through? Like they're like out the line, man. I'm like, man, that's that's crazy. Think about it. You, have you ever been to a Starbucks? There's always it's always usually crowded inside with people yeah. inside, and they're losing all that business. That's a lot of business they're losing. So they're getting a lot of drive through folks. But like um, they lost $3 billion. I think they lost $3 billion in revenue or something like that. So it's like, that's a shit ton of money, man. It's so think about, think about it. these businesses. They're only open at 25%. That means 75% of their revenue is gone. gone. That's like me coming to you, one of you guys and saying, hey, I'm going to take, or the IRS saying, look, I'm, we're going to take about 75% of your check. Or, you know, those of you who owe child support, we're, we're going to take about 75% of your check and we're going to give it, you know, we're going to give you 25%. How can you survive off that? Yeah, it's almost yeah. impossible, man. You yeah, know what? I did my part, though. I, I ordered enough beer for that empty table next to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, always out there helping, helping the uh, community. Yeah, so all you <laughs> listeners and viewers out there, take heed, bro. Don't waste a table if you're not going to fucking buy enough beer to make up for that empty one next to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I miss the most. I miss... I just want to go to a movie theater, man, and watch have some Ooh, popcorn. gross. I, no, I'm I'm saying I miss that. I miss that. I mean, now it would suck, but I you know, I miss just going to a movie by myself, getting some popcorn, nachos, whatever, watching a good movie and just chilling, man. I, you, you know, you know. No, go ahead. I was just wondering how are they open in gyms? Those are the nastiest places on earth. You know, I my gym sent me an email saying that you have to they're call and make Friday. an appointment. You got to make an appointment. Friday. Yeah, they're yeah, opening but, Friday. Right, but you got to to go there. You have to call them and make an appointment to go in there and work out by appointment only. And then every time you use the equipment, they're gonna, I guess, uh, they're gonna have people standing by to clean it off and that type of shit. That's gonna be a headache, man. That's, That's gonna be a headache to, for, to pay for the help to wipe it down all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's probably going to, I mean, they're probably going to go up on gym bills and shit like that. But You know what's, uh, what's the trip about the, this this virus shit is that I'm saving a lot of money, man, because, yes. you know, my daughter, my daughter, believe it or not, I'm like my daughter, you know, family, we would go out and eat and just chill, you know what I mean? Like IHOP or Denny's or whatever. But yeah, now, like, I'm fucking cooking at home, chilling. It's like, you know, I'm losing okay. weight because I'm not at the bars pounding mad bears and eating <laughs> fucked up foods and trying yeah. to tell them kiss girls in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> his 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 heathen he he's he's becoming a better heathen now. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, you know, Tech C, you uh, I remember you and I having a conversation a while back that you said your family spends a lot of money on going out to eat and that type of thing. Yeah. I'm sure now, like Vato V said, you're actually able to save money and not spend so much, and it's actually good for your pocketbook, you right? Learn how to cook more. Yeah, yeah, a lot more grocery shopping. You know, hey, a lot you more know the thing shopping. is, I, I honestly, I honestly don't miss going out anywhere simply because it's like, I don't know, man. It's like it makes you think a little bit different. Like, okay, you know, it's cool and everything, but like, wait a minute, I'm fucking saving money. Like, it's yep. cool, man. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, obviously, sports and stuff, baseball and shit, like baseball and football and basketball, all that shit is coming up. But whatever, man, like these fuckers are playing. I could be home watching the fucking, watching the game. You know what I mean? I'm not tripping. It's funny about sports. I didn't mean, are you, Manchester United was supposed to scrimmage a team today just to get like a practice game. Right. And the and the coach for the other team had the coronavirus. Oh, oh fuck. Wow. Man, wow. They found that right before he got on the bus. Like, Damn. what the fuck? So did they shut the game down? They shut it down? Oh, yeah. We can't. They had to cancel it. We're worth too yeah. much. Stoke City is a broke team. We're No. See, our, one, sport, one of our players is worth more than their whole damn team. 
they, they get a, they're not coming to our stadium. We told them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> See, you know, like, sports, that's the thing. You know, you have so many individuals with teams. If one person gets the coronavirus, I mean, that they have to cancel that whole thing out. Maybe even yeah, the season, there was, you know? In the German league, there's an English player who left Germany to go to England to get a haircut. And they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And then he takes pictures of Instagram with six people. They ain't no one wearing masks. They're like, you fucking asshole. Yeah. What are you, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, that's bad, man. You know, like, I remember when, it, when, when the coronavirus just started and, like, uh, I remember when, the, was it Utah? Utah Jazz were going to play against some other team and one of the players uh, had... The nigga touched the mic. Yeah, one of the, one of the players had the virus mm-hmm. and, you like, say the nigga. they started, say shutting, every, they started <laughs> shutting everything down. <laughs> <laughs> they started shutting everything down. Don't say down that, B. Don't say that. <laughs> KC trying to get you in trouble with America, man. <laughs> he was like, he was like say it, say that nigga, say that nigga touched the mic. I was like, don't say it. <laughs> be smart. No, so remember, like when, when that shit was when that when that barely came out, when it just came out, um, and that one player had the bas- the he had the uh, the the virus, and obviously, like if he's contagious, he can contaminate everybody and the entire. So like, just shut it down. Shit, everybody's all scrambling and shit. I'm like, fuck that. That's. He, he contaminated their best player. That's funny. Yeah. But they're in a locker room. That was yeah. crazy, man. Somebody that was, was going to get that crazy. shit anyway in the NBA. I mean, that was – somebody was going to get that. It's anyway. hard. These dudes have – these dudes are – first of all, we know athletes are not the most disciplined people in the world because if a motherfucker would cheat on his wife and do cocaine right before the game and he knows that <laughs> – you know what I'm saying? You're, you're going to need chaperones for these dudes because the minute you let them – all right, guys, see it in about two hours. Someone yeah. is going to try to get a thought into the hotel. Like, I got to get this bitch up in this room somehow. <laughs> yeah. Trust. Trust. Yeah. That is, fucking ain't going to stop. These dudes are like, how am I going to get her up here? Yeah, right, right. right. Those are the type That's of dudes. The problem. Those type of dudes like to hang out at bars and kiss chicks in bathrooms and shit, man. They just <laughs> I saw something on the um, L.A. Showtime Lakers. They said Magic Johnson slept with 15 women a day. I, he was average hanging with 15 women a day. He said that. God. A day. A day. Damn. Yeah, That's I heard damn. something like that too, man. Like, what's his name? Um, uh, Wilt's got the record. Wilt. 10,000 women. 10,000 <laughs> women. You know how many I sperm mean, cells is in 10,000 women? You know what that's that crazy. And he never got AIDS. I bet Magic <laughs> Johnson's like, you didn't get AIDS? <laughs> and my numbers ain't even high as yours, and I got it, man. That's how do you track that? I mean, yeah, how do you track exactly? I always thought about that. Did he count? Yeah, okay, I, I thought about it too. Like, like is magic going? Like, yeah, that's twenty today. I'm doing it, baby. <laughs> and he just took the average. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> will the average? Will like, hey, I, bitch, congratulations, I deal with fifteen women a day. No. yeah, that's too much, man. That's, that's too way much. too much. I mean, I mean, he talking about like fucked. 15 women at You know, the only person on this show who can do that is Vato V, man. That's the only dude on this show <laughs> that I think can ha- handle those type of numbers, man. <laughs> really? Vato V is my dude, really? Oh, this must be, do, pa- this must be patient like a motherfucker. Yeah. This dude is, uh, this guy fucks. <laughs> that rabbit. guy fucks. That's all I'm going to say, man. Who does? Vato V? Vato, you didn't know? He's in the room. Is he by you himself right now? No. <laughs> He's probably fucking right now, man. I mean, you know, I'm over here like, I'm over here like, he's like, I'm over here like, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> you just got a little sketch movie, he, like he moving all like, ah, 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 ah. He's like ah, ah, ah. yeah. He's all up in here, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, in, in wedding crashes when he's like, this, this, this feels so, so good. <laughs> you know, yeah, when you interesting, all my Caucasian friends I went to college with are sending me texts like. I stand with you, Case. Send me a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can start by, you know, sending me some money. That's true. Okay. Um, how many furrows does George have? Mm. Like five? Something like that, man. Memorials, funerals. I'm like very the man like, already, damn. man. I mean, geez, that it's it's um. Uh, I like what uh, Al Sharpton had to say about him, though. I, I like that speech he gave. I put it on my Instagram where he talked about. Uh, America, you know, like that police officer having his knee on George Floyd's, Floyd's neck is is symbolic of America having their knee on a lot of black men's necks, you know, and he did a whole speech about, you know, taking your knee off of African-Americans' necks and this and this and that. That kind of resonated with me. But um, it's uh, this whole thing, man, 
the protests have sto- sort of slowed down, right? No, they're still going. They're still, they're going. still going. On Sunday, but, they had, on Hollywood, was it Hollywood Boulevard, they had like 100,000 people show up on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, I, crazy, dude. I uh, hope people don't get satisfied, though, because mm-hmm. our politicians, if they showed anything, they are fucking shifty and smart. They'll be like, yeah, let the ass keep protesting. Yeah. And we're going to get to this election. And then we're going to be like, ah, yeah, we're going to pick some. We're going to do some legislation around it. We'll change things. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry you about see, that shit. We'll change it. You, you see what you just did right there, KC? It, I want to say to America, we as black people, to all the white people out there, we do not hate you. Okay? We do not hate you, Scully. All right? <laughs> we, That's what I'm here for. Uh, we, just don't tr- we just don't trust you. That's it. We just don't trust you. And KC kind of summed it up right there, you know, with the politics. and Nobody trusts politicians. Yeah, it's, it's politicians. It ain't Scully. It's politicians I don't trust. No, right, they're right. Ones, they're the ones that I don't create. trust black ones, too. Trust you know what? Man. I agree with you on that, too. The silly guy who's the president. Don't trust that fucker, either. Who? Uh, no. He didn't have nothing to do with this, dude. Yeah, and that's the thing. You know, that's actually, I shut that's off. Silly, dude. He just says some dumb shit. Like, he says some yeah. dumb shit. That, yeah, that old absolutely. man that the police knocked down, and he fell down hit his head and bled out. He tried to say it was Anifa. Antifa, right? He, he, he Antifa. Tweeted, he tweeted Antifa, whatever, yeah. He was from Antifa and that and that he he acted like he hit harder than he did. Like the dude was yeah. in critical condition in the hospital. Right. Yeah. 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 There. So the dude was there. bleeding, his head was busted. Out of his ears. He bled out, out of his, his ears. ears. A puddle of blood, not just a little bit, a puddle yeah. of blood. Yeah. Well, he's just talking no, that's called I call that gravity, but I mean <laughs> what's a guy? Uh, Here's here's my this would have been my tweet that would have pissed everyone off. What's a seventy five year old guy doing out there right in front of a goddamn fucking he, God, hundreds of he's cops? He's American. He can do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. That guy had that guy picked up exactly. He, did, he picked up a helmet that that one of the cops dropped and he was handing it back to them and they wow him. they shoved his ass and he wow he did. so that's, that's all he was doing. Like he that's had like. Did. He had, a wow. in his hand. He, had, he had one of their helmets, one of the riot helmets in his hand, and he was giving it back. He was returning yeah. it. Wow. And you know plowed. what I don't like about him. this protest shit? They plowed his ass. They're, t- they're, they're not being realistic. What do you mean you want to disband police, get rid of the police? Right. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah that's How about yeah. do something that's realistic? Stupid. Ask for better recruiting, training yeah. better. You can't get rid of the police. No. You know yeah. what's funny? You know what, Casey? Here, real quick. This is the problem with that. The city council in, in Minneapolis tried to make a big deal out of that, that, like, there's something great. You know who runs the police department, guys? Come on. The fucking mayor, the city council. The no, city council. it's the police union. I keep telling you. The unions, no, they the all they union created. The they created the city that. people fund it. The city manager uh, controls the whole city. The city manager is yeah. the top guy. It depends on what city you're in, yeah. But but they they fund it. They give they allocate all the money to the police. But yeah. here's, here's, they here's, cover it up. They here, here's the, here's they the thing though, like, and then we'll, I'll go above and beyond. Like, how is it that you're a 21 year old officer rookie, and uh, you get called to like you know just I'm gonna give an example out there. How is it that you're a 21 year old rookie? You get called out to a domestic violence. Uh, uh, call what the fuck is a 21 year old motherfucker gonna tell me a fucking 40 year old what the fuck is am i gonna do with my wife or sir you gotta calm the fuck down with my son by the same fucking age as you fuck you you know what the fuck are you gonna say you know give them a little more life experience how old do these guys have to be in order for them to become officers more training obviously um should they have a bachelor's degree so they have like uh, some kind of like you know train them a little bit different or train us a little bit different so we can you know I think that guy cops doing too much, man. It's yeah. just too much. Yeah. But see, the thing is, it's, 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 it's that's the problem. Like, like when we fucking when we see that shit, just it's a video. We see one officer doing some stupid shit. It's like it fucks it up for the rest of everybody else. And it's like that's that's not fair. It's There's not, a lot it's of not, cops doing stupid shit though. Yeah, hey, yeah. You know but what? that's not. But hold on though. But that's but you we we already know because we we've been there, we've done that. We already know that not everybody is the same. We already course. know that. You know of what I'm course. saying? We know that. It's fuck whether you're black, white, purple, green, brown, it doesn't make a difference. You see that they're human beings. They're fucking they, you fuck up as a human being. That's the problem. Like you, yeah, know, you fuck up, you gotta go. You gotta get fired. You gotta get in that's, charge. That's you know, like, that's the thing. It's not it's not, you know, what the reason officer, okay, cool. But the thing is this, like let's say I'm just gonna give hypothetically the mentality show police department. You know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, Oh, Lato, we fucked up. No. I'm a, a, a mentality show police officer 
fucking kick this person's ass. And it's like, fuck, no, man. It's this motherfucker that fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? Not but the let's whole say, it, Because if it, it just, it's just like when you're a supervisor. If, you're, if your subordinates fuck up, you ultimately fucked up because you didn't train that person correctly. Yeah. So, yeah. Especially, especially if, if, if the mentality show police department, let's say Vato V fucked up. And then we have a history of fucking up, and nobody yeah. and nobody in the department ever did anything about it or addressed it. Yeah, the show had a piece of department. Man, look, all fucked up, bro. Yeah, I'd be the mayor. I'd be the mayor. Oh, uh, hey, we're diverse. We're diverse. <laughs> but hey, hey, Vato V and, and and KC, you guys made some really good points about this defund Probably the police there, thing. Drinking beer and shooting cans on on the on the clock. <laughs> you, you guys made a really good point about this defund the police because um Vato V, you you're right. It starts with training, bro. It starts with training. Training. A lot, a lot of this a lot of this is uh, this training that these police officers are getting is a it's very aggressive training. Yeah. Um and they don't really teach a lot as far as social services and in and, and KC, you said the police got a whole lot on their plate, man. They're social workers, they're fucking you know, they're the police, they're uh counselors. So you know, what they need to do is take some of this money that they're, you know, this hundred and fifty million a year that they're giving to the police. How about take about fifty million of their of that money and hire more social workers? You know, hire more counselors, more people to do. I, I totally agree with that. Doing, I you know? totally agree with that. <clears throat> so you know, that's what all, they need to do, redistribute the money. All they needed to learn is how to de-escalate. The, the, yeah. You know, the, the mastery of de-escalation. <clears throat> I mean, us. We know how to do that because where we worked, we 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 had to learn that. Yeah, master that. You master, you master that, that shit. You're good. You master that skill. Training. You're good. That's you know, training. That's training. Use your mouth. If you can't talk to people, then you got no reason dealing with them. Yeah, yeah, it's training. To be on the street, dealing with people on a daily basis, if you can't use your mouth, that, you that's absolutely to true. To people, you need to relate with them. And and I just read something today that in some countries, it takes three years of training for them to get the job. Here we only mm -hmm. we train for like eight weeks. Six months. Right? Six months. Six months. Yeah. Six months. Three months, depending on what what uh, three, department you're working. Like that, yeah. So yeah, that's not enough. Not, Dude, not you know, as that. as you and I, Tech C uh, and Vato V, you know, as officers, we all know when usually when an officer immediately goes to aggression instead of de-escalation, what does that mean? That means that motherfucker's scared. He's yeah. scared. Yeah. So the first thing he's going to do is start trying to do this, you know, sh show his balls and, and, yeah. and use aggressive tactics because he doesn't know how to deal with certain people. Like Texi said, he doesn't know how to communicate and he's scared. So, you know, he's going util to utilize his aggression and all that. And that's where he's getting in trouble. That's where a lot of these officers like get in trouble. Problem. Or they're just, they're just plain old assholes. Or they're just assholes. But see, here, here, here's the thing. You think, do you guys think that uh, the, the age – the age and the education of a person to become a police officer or an officer should be raised to a different, instead of 21, maybe 25 years old. Yeah. 21 is young, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's a good, that's a good point V that's uh life experiences can really help someone make certain hey, five, decisions. Four years, it can, four years, but I, I really believe educating cops on a lot of more things than other than tactics and, and whatever they do, how they fucking deal with breaking down, people's houses and shit get in their minds man the cops are cops are probably a lot of them are very stressed the fuck out and mm -hmm. there's no one there that you backing them up you know what i'm saying no and you know what that's and that's what i was alluding to earlier it's the local governments man they're the ones that allow that to happen in their cities and for them to come out and say we're going to disband the police fuck off we need to disband the local yeah. government that allowed this to fucking happen and swept That's it under true. the rug for so many years. Everybody is saying disband the police. Let them have someone try to rob them at their house and see when they're calling 911 to see what they how, how fast right. their response is. Once you know, they get you, you, you know, you're right. See, like I was, uh, there was this mayor or I forgot if it was a chief or a mayor that um, said, you know, the people that, that are anti-police so like, why don't you just give us your name and we'll put you on a database to sign a waiver stating that you do not want the cops to come to your place yeah. to deal with some issues, you know, so we can just move on to the next fucking, to the next people that really need the, the assistance. Because, I, you know, I had a friend, I had a couple friends that worked for the, the 911 dispatch center and the majority of the calls that come in through there are all bullshit, you know, bullshit fucking calls. And it's like people just calling for stupid shit that don't even need, don't, don't even need a, a assistance, you know what I mean? Just just because, you know? Yeah. So those are the stupid fucking people that are like, what the fuck? 
what are you talking about, dude? Like, seriously, like, we don't let need that people. lady walking her dog. I'm gonna let call him that now that it is a black man. But like, why would you call yeah. him for that? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, real no, man. Like, no, before oh. I before I got into the, the law enforcement that I get did get involved in, I used to do ride alongs, and I can tell you from personal experience, man, there are some racist cops yeah. in these departments, man, and not all of them. Vato V, there are some exceptions, of course, but when you have sergeants and higher ups who are fucking racist and and they're they're they, they go on these calls and they're making these calls be because of their prejudices and things like that and these lower uh these new cops these younger cops they're getting brainwashed by all this racism that's going on from the higher ups man and uh and then they end up becoming a higher up and then they're you know they're putting their views and their racism on on the new hires from there so it's a, it's a, it's the system man it's it, the system uh just keeps going on and on now, finally, the word is getting out. It's, we've been doing it for years. We've been putting this word out for years with the civil decades. rights movement. Decades. Decades. It's been going yes, for a century. Decades. <laughs> and we've, we, we've had enough, man. I mean, it's now the world, the world, not just black folks, the world is out there with us doing these marches and, 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 and you know, speaking up for what's right and that type of thing. That's what I'm so proud of. I why, love it. Why don't you tell him what you, you you said he spoke to your brother and there was three differences from now and past of what is in today and from the past. What was what were those three differences? You had talked we we talked one day. And he said there was three differences. One of them was that there was all types of people out there marching and are involved with this. I forgot the other two. You don't remember? Um, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah. You, to your brother, you, say, you talked to your brother about it. Oh those man. Are good points. Those are good points. Ah, uh, I forget. Yeah, do you no, remember? Wait, can you wait, bring it up? Do you remember Tech? I don't remember. That's why I'm telling you. Like you told me, uh, one of them was a good uh, one. But I, uh, what I do remember is that there's a lot of diversity out there marching together for one cause. But there was two others, and I don't remember. But they were good points. Oh yeah, these different. Uh, I I remember that conversation. I can't. I, I don't recall it now. But when no, I do, I'll bring what? it up. I'm sorry. That would be a good. That would be a good topic of discussion too, because. Like, this is the same exact shit that happens before a lot of elections, especially 2015 and 16. This all happened, minus the virus, only it's more widespread. And, like, 2015 and 2016 was horrible, dude. There was all kinds of anti-police. There was all kinds of violence, rioting, and then it disappeared after the election. And part of yeah. me thinks it's going to disappear this time, too. But uh -uh. Uh -uh. the only thing that makes yeah. me think that it won't is because of how widespread it is now because too much of a movement too much of a movement. yeah yeah yeah. so it's that's the biggest thing i don't know what the other two could be but for sure that man because it's it's play in places you'd never expect it to be yeah yeah this is i'm gonna tell you now this it's over for trump bro it's over for him he's 38 percent so. approval rate i don't know uh biden has him at 14 points uh, he's 14 points ahead already it's not going to get any better it's not going to get any better so well, you know, it's over for him. Say that. Everyone thought Hillary was going to win. But all this shit wasn't going on when Hillary was running. That you was. Know? No, all this, no. What's going on in the world now was not happening when Hillary was running. Well, widespread he, protesting is bi a big difference. I mean, yeah. But yeah I, this, this is, this is you, you, a virus, what, a pandemic, think, all that. You know, yeah, you know what I think? You know what I think? And if, if, I hope he doesn't win anymore. We need change, man. I'm obviously, number one. But I think what did it for what I think what 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 was the nail on the coffin for for fucking Trump was that when he fucking started spraying the people yes. and shooting the people, yes. and just so you can go take a picture of the, with him in the yes. Bible. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he just flex. And then he holds the Bible like this. He holds the Bible like that. <laughs> Nobody fact, holds flex. the Bible like and that. Upside down. Upside down. You got it, guys. For all this, he's just an asshole, dude. He's just so much. I, I, I thought think he, he was, was on, a psychopath. I think he's a psychopath. I thought he was on some G shit. I thought he was at the house, like, oh, they don't think I, I'm about to get all these niggas out the way. Watch how I do this. I'm about to go <laughs> right now, yeah. flex it on everybody. Well, you know, the reason why they say the main the, the, <laughs> they say the main reason he did that shit is because everybody was calling him a punk for a bitch for hiding in the bunker the night before. So he wanted to show I'm the no, I'm the law and order was, president. Um, I'm gonna show it. I'm not a bitch, you know. I'm the, he built a he built a wall. Hey, he did build a wall. He built a hot wall around his house. What's up? Is this wall still getting built? What's up with this around, wall? Around the White is House. This wall, the wall still getting built. The wall around the White House. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you know what? Um, Here's you know yeah, I'm, I'm subject. Thing, I'm, 
That's the media, bro. Like if you yeah. dig into that, that was being built before he was elected. And he has, it was continuing when all the people on social media thought it was being fought against. It was being built while everyone was getting pissed off. Like, yeah. Hey, he, he, here's one, like, here's one, and you're right, Scully. Um, you know that Obama, and people, I don't know if people know this, but Obama, um, he was a good president, yeah, but this motherfucker, this motherfucker deported a uh, record number of over 2 million people. You know what I'm saying? So that, <laughs> nobody has ever done that before. So it's like he deported over two million or maybe three million people. Well, who were these people? Who were these people? Were they undocumented, criminals? undocumented, undocumented people. Undocumented. Okay. People. Right. I don't know about that. I don't know about some that. Haitians, right? I hope they get rid of some Haitians. Well, if you do, if you look at, if you look it up, you'll find that every president deports more people than the last. I agree. I don't know, but I don't know about I don't know about Trump. I don't know what his numbers are in, in regards to deporting people, but you know, be I know high. that Gotta Obama. I know that Obama did deport. Obviously, he helped the people, the DACA. He set up the DACA and all that stuff. But he deported more people uh, from, than, than others. Dude, and I do agree. There's, there's a lot of bad apples. I, like, again, like, there's a lot of bad apples. It's just the same thing as, as, you know, like, there's a lot of bad officers, a lot of bad people that are coming to this fucking country. I understand all that shit. But there's a way to go about it, man. You got to weed those people out. And unfortunately, some people fucking slip through the cracks and shit. And yeah, we, 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 ne we don't want bad people, but that's the way it is. That's who we live amongst. Uh, you know what I mean? We live Dude, amongst these people. Trump, Trump, um, okay, whether good or bad, his thing is if you're Mexican or you're an illegal, you got to go. Uh, I mean, he's the one who, he's the one who developed, or who, um, who's the group? I'm sorry, I can't think of him right now. It's not ISIS. It's the, it's the group that comes in and, and ice. ice. Ice, yeah, they come in and just get illegals and ISIS. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. They, ice. they come in and they get illegal. See, Trump was like, at least Obama was like, okay, let's sort these people out, the good and the bad. Trump is like, Everybody. whether you're good or bad, you, you don't need to be in this country. You got to go, and you know, we're going to make you know, there, sure. Other, there's other protests going on right now too. They're saying that ISIS is they're, they're capturing people and they're holding them and they're spraying them down with like these disinfectants and stuff like that, and they're. Like killing them, there. I mean, I, I don't Clorox know. Beach, it's good for coronavirus. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how true it is, but people are actually going to these facilities and they're and they're protesting outside of them too. Good, good. You know, Speak if up. People are doing that. I hope they do it in excess and just fucking die. It, so, it's crazy how all down. these institutions with authority and a little bit of power are just. It's hard not to abuse it, isn't it? It seems like it's just so hard. I mean, it goes in even the movie industry. You got people with power. It's just hard for people not to be like, I'm going to just. I don't know how they get. You know, you know what I could do? I'm going to do it. <laughs> I, don't know I can do whatever I want. The department I work for, they don't, they don't, they don't. Our they, society's they, fucked they up. It's too me, me. <laughs> it's too, um, it's, it's not, we're not looking at everything as a group. It's not a village anymore. It's too many people trying to get a million likes and, oh, yeah. let me get everybody on my page now. I, I, well, maybe I shouldn't say it talk like that because I was talking about the millennials like that, and these motherfuckers are the ones out there changing the world. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, too bad all of them are gonna <laughs> die tomorrow because they have a virus. <laughs> so it's all it's all a waste of time. Thank you, but we're sorry. <laughs> I, I, what, I, I think, hope those like, kids don't get guys, sick. But uh, thank you. <laughs> hey, what if all the what if all the people who died of coronavirus are the people who, in the beginning, were just nasty? They never washed their hands or their ass. So, I mean, maybe, and this is a joke, folks. This is a joke. Where, where maybe the, maybe the world got rid of a lot of nasty people, you know? <laughs> I think That's everybody's a baby. Where was I with and I heard a 30-year-old say, Sir, you eat ass. You're I, next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Listen. hey, let's not judge here. <laughs> what do you say, KC? I was with somebody and a 30-year-old person told us, oh, this is the first time I learned how to wash my hands. Like, Fuck. Oh, you see. <laughs> and see. you're like, how many times to you shake your hand, fool? <laughs> what are you doing? What have you been doing? Wow. Wow. Yeah. It, it's, it's, they wipe it's their pants and go, hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. What is it every hand you what is it every hand you shake has had a dick in it? <laughs> yeah. True. I know in Jamaica they beat cleanliness into you. They beat you into it. Like you learn. You're gonna wash your hands. What I'm are the coronavirus numbers in uh in Jamaica, KC? Oh, we cool, baby. We just had we have a dance hall party. It's going down. <laughs> 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 
No Corona. No Corona. <laughs> no Corona. Oh, we have no it. Corona. I thought you know it was. You how to please uh, the people out there? You see how to please the people when you brought curfew? And they're out there singing, with don't a stick worry. in the street. Get your ass in the house. We, wow. We fixed yeah. the Corona real quick in our island. Real quick. <laughs> yeah. Kick Corona you just, ass. You just embraced it with a little bit of my Corona. And plus, Rastafari <laughs> don't believe in the coronavirus. You know, we don't believe in them things. <laughs> we don't believe in them things. You know, I've never, I'm going to knock on wood when I say this, I've never had the flu. I, what? Um, that's, I've never had the flu in my life. The only serious sickness I've ever had was, was chicken pox when I was a kid. So I've never had the flu. Oh, and I, yeah, and I'm wondering. Had the flu? I've never had the fucking flu. So I'm you wondering. Never if I'm got wondering, sick? Cough or cold? Oh, I've had, I've had a cold. Yeah, I've had colds, uh, sore throat, stuff like that. But I've never had where I'm just at home for days and the flu and just fucked up and high temperature. Have you, have I've you never ever had that. So have you ever had a burning sensation <laughs> when you urinate? I, <laughs> that's a different story, sir. Uh, <laughs> but no, you I've never had the flu. So I'm wondering if I'm one of these people who are, Oh, you've had the flu. I've never yeah. had it. I'm wondering if I'm one of these people who can't get coronavirus. You've, with kids. you've had the flu. I've never had the flu. You've had the flu. Oh, wow. You're amazing. How many times can I say this? I've never had, if I was texting you right now, I would put, I never had the flu. Have you ever, you ever had never blue balls? You. Have you ever if had you're a blue politician, balls? I would never vote for you. <laughs> you were a like, He's a liar. <laughs> I've he never, never had the flu. He never, he's, never had, he's, never, he's never had the flu, but he has, he has, he has had blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Scully. Scully had blue balls. <laughs> what is this, Tech? I'm fucking. No, I hated this song. <laughs> Why are we playing Bobby McFerrin, Don't Worry, Be Happy? Jamaica, <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> is he from Jamaica, by the way? Is he really no. from Jamaica? Yeah, I didn't think no. so. I think this dude is American. They play this song. Nothing for no Jamaican. Jamaican don't do little fuckery like this. Hey, play some shit from uh, In Living Color with Damon Wayans. You know, you lazy lima bean. What? How dare you? Only one job. <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Very true. <laughs> that shit was funny, man. Uh, okay, so uh, Scully, we have this thing on the show called the Scully Red Rant. This is the time of the show when white man rage comes up, and <laughs> we give him the floor to get, get that out of the way. So, hey, we're afraid if he doesn't, he's going to shoot up a couple of schools. So this is his moment right now. <laughs> Scully. Oh, wow, that's heavy. Next to the <laughs> Scully. Hey, we're saving lives here by allowing Scully to get this off his chest. So <laughs> this is the Scully Red Rant. You have the floor, my man. Dude, you know what's really fucking pissing me off? Is the whole <laughs> fucking thing, social media, the comments that we fucking made tonight, everybody's staring at their phone, listening to the screen, listening to the TV, listening to the fucking tablet. Why don't you listen to your fucking family and friends and your neighbors and you'll find out that they're all questioning everything and not listening to a goddamn fucking thing. The media is trying to shove down your fucking throat. Yeah. <laughs> Scully. Scully, white man, rage ran, red rats. That is the man right there. <laughs> I do. Hey, uh, see, he's calm. See, he's calm. See, we're saving the world. Yeah. Anybody, <laughs> anybody <laughs> got it? <laughs> What's that, Scully? Take that clip. That's my advertising. Anytime someone wants to fuck with us, just throw that shit out there and tell them, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything anybody else want to get off their chest uh, uh, regarding this week's activities? Hey, you know what? Here's, here's something that I saw um, they're talking about. They're trying to, they're trying to talk about um, disarming police officers in America. Yeah, that's what KC brought up, defunding like, the police. The I'm like, Fuck no, that's defunding. We're talking about that's defunding, army. but this, that's ridiculous. Oh, hell no. You can't that's do that. Did. That's, what I was, that's what I heard. I was like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That, that's not. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's over. That's, that, that's too much. Yeah, that's stupid. Because the reason being is because in, in the UK, they don't, they, they're unarmed. And I think in Japan, they're unarmed. So yeah, because like, they don't, things. they don't have, because they don't have a, a second, what's that? The, second what's second that? Amendment. Second, second Amendment. Amendment out there where yeah. people don't carry guns like, Okay, so a police officer is going to show up to a to a, a call, and he's going to have like eight guns pointed at him. And he's oh, going to no, no. he's going to shoot the pellet pellet check, rubber check, check it out. the pepper balls. But check it out, no, no, balls, this is what they're right. saying. This is what they're saying that they were going to send the police officers to a specific, obviously a, a, a call, and if there's somebody in there, 
And if there's somebody in there that's armed, they're going to call the arm unit so the arm unit can come out and oh, yes, boy. oh god, that's the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard. How many cops are dying at that point? Yeah, we you already have a lot of officers dying right now and shit. How about know? that's gonna be paying more? How about get them some courses on how to deal with sensitivity and mental illness and shit like that? De escalation. But you know what? Okay, though, okay. My thing is this, and you already know, you know, as as officers. Obviously, mental, mental, you know, mental, mental help or mental health is actually a big deal right now, but also diverse, diverse cultures. We need to have that diverse culture training for, to understand cultures. You know what I'm saying? Not just throw them out yes. there and be like, you know what? This is what you need to do. Get the fuck out and go. No, you need to interact with the community and talk to people. And hey, this is this is who we are. You know, like no, understand what community you're working at. Yes, that that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Understand the culture. Understand the races. That you're that you're gonna be dealing with, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like fuck, you know, not just throw them out there and be like, okay, just go patrol. Well, Starts with training. I, I remember a certain officer. I'm not gonna say his name. When he first started, they used to call him the killer. This guy came in <laughs> very, very. He was new, you know, and you can't blame him. He was new. He was still learning. So his thing when it came to minors acting out, he would automatically take the aggressive role because he's still learning. And you know, and and I remember he had a, a fellow officer who was a very good trainer by his side who train him on de- de-escalation techniques and this and this and that. And this uh, young man became a, a really good officer after that. Um, and, uh, you know, I, that's just kind of an example of, of how it is with some of these police officers. Uh, Which one of you guys v. was killer? Which one of you guys was killer? Oh, okay. <laughs> Votel V. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, but hold on, though. But you know what? You know what's funny, though, that, that the person, uh, you know, I want to thank the person out there that, uh, you know, obviously that, that trained me and, and believed in me. Uh, you know, uh, w- Officer Walton, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Assistance. <laughs> Assistance. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. LA, did you get yeah. a chance to work with uh, Ponch and John? What? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Ponch and John. <laughs> Ponch and John. Did you work what's, with them? What's Ponch and John? Who's that? I don't know who that is. The chips, man. Chips. There's some chips and four. That's old chips. Oh, Punch. Punch. It. Punch. His name, yeah, that's right, Punch. Oh, okay. yeah, you, you lost cool points. You fucked up. You fucked up. You lost cool <laughs> that, shit was out in, that shit was out in 72. I'm not that old, man, so. You lost cool points, though. Hey, hey that shit was in the 80s. Scully, that shit was y'all in the can 80s, remember that man. shit. That shit was in the 80s. Yeah, but I was like, I was two years old in, in the early 80s. You live in California and not know about. I'm not from California, remember? I'm from Arkansas. What is it, John? What is it, Officer John? What was it, John something? And then Frank Poncherello. First of all, when that shit was out, I was Ooh, two years old. My boy Punch was slaying him. I was they two years it. old in Arkansas, so. They, they fucking taped that out of that precinct. Uh, what's that one? That downtown right oh, by the freeway? Exactly off the 110. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. 110. Yeah. See, I don't know that shit. I'm not pants from like what they wore. Their pants are very sexual. Women got the point when you saw Punch's pants. Like, ooh. They were wearing and baseball the pants. <laughs> I used to think it was cool when they would ride their motorcycles side by side like that. I always thought that was pretty cool, man. Um, so, yeah, that's, I guess that is anything else, gentlemen? Anything else anybody has to say? I hope, man, I just hope that the shit doesn't go to, you know, shit doesn't go to shit. Does that make sense? With all this yeah. fucking, uh, you yeah, know, that's a, good a, lot of, a lot of, a lot of young, <clears throat> young people are getting discouraged and in getting into the career of law enforcement. Yeah, it's a lot of policies and a lot of politics and shit, but as long as you stay who you are, man, just be you. You know what I mean? Shit is matter. already a shit. You, you gotta be, it's already fucked it's up. Just be you. It's really hard to, 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 to be in, to work in that field. It's just yeah, like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, it's a very difficult and very stressful uh, job, but it's, you know, it's rewarding sometimes, but you just got, it's, it's just a lot of politics, man. That's, that's the only fucked up part that people don't let people do the job. And you got a lot of idiots hey, out there. Hey. Like, a lot of idiots do not represent the badge, man. I'm sorry. There's a lot of good officers that are representing that badge and want, want change. But don't let one fucking bad apple fuck it up for everybody else, guys, because that's, that's fucking, that's fucked up. I have a lot of family in law enforcement, including myself. My brothers, you know, my brother's a sheriff. My other brother's LAPD. I have cousins in, that are sheriffs, you know. Family and friends are in, the, in a different department, probation department. And it's like we're all we're all good officers, man. And I, and and I don't want that shit to 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 fuck it up for everybody else, man. Because that's fucked up. That's wrong. You know what I'm saying? 
I know there's a lot of officer, idiots. Out there that's okay, fucked yeah. up, you know. Officer, yeah. spoken like a true person trained by Officer Walton. Yes, um, yeah, exactly. So I, the best. I got, <laughs> I got to say, um, I got to say, uh, regarding what you said, V. Um, uh, shit, I forgot what I was gonna say, man. I'm getting old. I got to say, uh, uh, go, go ahead, Tech. Go learn a skill and go do something else. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this is this is probably this is probably the most I, I, let me ask you this gentlemen. Uh, we're all in our 40s. Uh congratulations Vato V for joining the 40 club uh this year. Um would you say this is probably of your lives, would you say this is the most challenging time uh in the world? Uh these are like the most challenging times you've seen in your life. Would you say that? Cuz we got a pandemic, we got a not for me. Racial, I would say that in oh, my yeah. life, Casey's old. Say, he lived during World War Two. I, I was I would say in my life right now, my lifetime, it's like this is the most pussified we are in the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of people are so fucking sensitive on shit. You know, it's just it's just be a man, boy. Does that make sense? Like fuck, stop stop being such a fucking pussy with shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like fucking take initiative. I, I just I can't even explain it to you, man. It's just like a lot of people are so fucking sensitive on shit. Like, I can't explain it. The world's, the world's been like that. Society is pussified. Everybody complains about everything. And bitches yes. complains. Oh, you, you shouldn't do that. It's They're just kids. Oh, you shouldn't do that. I mean, when I was a kid, I got my ass kicked by my dad. Like now, oh, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't raise your kids like that. You shouldn't thank them or discipline them. Yeah. Like that. Smack that motherfucker for talking back to you. You know, you know that nowadays you can't you can't say specific words. You can't say specific uh, uh, language because oh, it's okay, offensive see, to people. Where, where, where we work, <laughs> we did a whole show on that. Where we work, they come out and say, "Oh, you can't talk to the kids like that. You can't curse at them." What do you mean I can't curse at them? They don't understand. Uh, please, anything else? Please, okay. please sit down and be quiet. No, okay, yeah. guys, they understand. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> <laughs> guys. We did a whole show on the pussification of America. We can do a whole show on that again. Let's My question it. is. My question is, with this pandemic and all this racial unrest, would you say this is probably the most challenging, these are the most challenging times we face as a country? Of course. It is. Not as a country, country yeah. in our lives, in our lives, I would say. Yeah, say. yeah as a country. I well, this, it was all peachy. Yeah. <laughs> Before Trump, it was peachy. Yeah. yeah. I had a lot of, oh, can I, I want yeah, to we, we don't get anywhere blaming anyone else, but I, I've, had, uh, I've had a rough fucking life myself, and I can say that this year, I've had a hard time fucking containing <coughs> myself. And that's hey, I don't a fuck about a pandemic. I don't care about Rona and riots and fuck all that. Dude, I'm Antifa, having a hard time. Just, just tell everyone well, to fuck off. Holy, I want to put something for you. All right. So my response is, is, I like the USA chant, but I'm not having a good time. Knock the crap out of them, would you? Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, he promotes racism, man. He does. That's why it's okay right now for people. That's why he. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when this they dude is up. Once, you know, and Listen they to what he says. Again so easily. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. See? Yeah. Yeah, I remember one time they kicked a man out of one of his conventions, and he said, go get a job. Get him out of here. Go get a job. Well, you know, keep in mind, like, I don't know what's true here or not, but keep in mind that speech that he made where everyone said he was against protesters was 100% lie. I went back and read it and listened to it twice and read the transcripts. And there's, there's Scully defending his boy. I don't know. No, it's <clears> called <throat> fact. Would you like me to send it to you? I don't know what this is, though. This is him talking. This is him talking when he was running. When he was running. Yeah, he was, so where I come from is when I see something like this, I don't believe it until I start digging into it and find out where it came from. It's him talking. Yeah, it's, it's him talking. I've seen him do some, say some of these things. This is, this is Scully. This is Trump. 
I think because he's a white redhead guy, uh, you, you feel a relation to him or something like that. Yeah, I'll send you the transcripts, bro. Scully, you're nothing hey, gentlemen, like gentlemen, I love I you. I gotta go. Scully, I know you're nothing. Hey, KC, have a good one, man. Yeah, Have man. a good one, brother. Hey, Scully, I know you, bro. I know you personally. You're nothing like this fucker, man. To see you defend this nah, guy. Scully, don't say you like Trump. It hurts me, man, to see him defend this guy. What, I'm, what I'm not, what I'm guy. saying is, is I don't know where that came from, but when he was I, when he was running for president, huh? Yeah, some of these speeches are when he was running for president during his campaign. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I'd have to look into it. I mean, <laughs> I don't believe anything okay. I see, dude. I, I you have no idea how much. Look at my eyes, dude. I spent so much time digging down rabbit holes, making sure I'm not believing something that isn't true, that it's unhealthy. Okay, let me ask you this, Scully. From what you learned about Trump, do you see what Texi just showed us? Do you see that video being viable? Do you see him? Would you deny that he would say some of these things from what you know about him? Well, I think a lot of it is, well, I don't know. I really don't know because I don't know him and I don't want to know him because I don't, I'm more about people being together. It's like, we shouldn't, it's designed to fucking separate us. So like, I don't, that's why I don't like government, man. It's like, I'm not going to pick one side and I can't remember where I read it, but it was like left wing or right wing. It doesn't fucking matter, man. Both wings are supporting the same fucking bird. So I've never known a democratic president or even a Republican president. That's openly. That's racist. yeah. That's promoted so much hate and racism and division within the country. It's like Trump, like a uh, old boy who just left Trump, the military leader said, this is, this man is the only president in history who's, who's, who doesn't give oh, a Matt, fuck about America. Matt, Maddox. See, see, yeah, this Maddox, is, Maddox, this is, Maddox, this is Maddox, the, Maddox. This is what Maddox said. Like, the problem with this president is, like, the, the fuck the thing care. about this, the, 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 the administration that's there with him are all, good, are all people that have had, like, some kind of uh, credibility. And with him, with all these people working for Trump, they lost a lot of credibility, and they look bad now because it worked under his administration. So now that, yeah. that because because they say something against him, it's like he fires them or he gets rid of them. It's like yeah. what the fuck? Like really? Like he treats why? them because, like his like his because show. Because of the views, like because of the views that they're saying, because they don't agree with what the fuck he gotta say. Like that's bullshit. You know what I mean? What's that shit he I mean, used to do in his show? He would always say, "You're fired. You're fired. Yeah. You're fired." He's treating the uh, his administration. Like like it's his TV show, man. Like it's a job. Like, like it's a fucking job. Like it's a fucking dude. This like is, it's a you're fucking, fucking with people's show. You're fucking with people's lives right now, man. Like whatever the fuck you say, whatever the fuck you say, if there's people out there that that like you and love you and you know support you and shit, they're gonna believe everything you fucking say. So if I'm telling you, go outside in the middle of the street right now and just stand there like an idiot so you can get hit by a car, there's people yep. out there that are gonna fucking do it. Yep, his now, base. They call that his about base. Fucking shooting up when he says something about shooting up Lysol or whatever the fuck it is, like uh, decontaminants into your body. Like you had fucking people, fifty people died because they injected themselves or ingested this shit. You I know? didn't hear that. That's how dumb his base is, control, bro. We didn't, we didn't need those people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I agree with you there, Scully. That, that he 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 panders to his base all the time. His base of people, his followers, his supporters, which is. I know you're nothing like this, Scully, or, uh, you know, Trump is payback for Obama, man. And his base of people, they were so upset that Obama was president, this black man being president, and, and this black pride that was coming over our country. They're like, okay, we're going to get, we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of these, some of that stuff. And we're going to go ahead and bring in this man right here who believes in what we believe in in America. Fuck yeah. And make America great again and all that type of stuff. I don't know. It's, it, it's funny, before we, before all this shit happened, remember on our show, <clears throat> we always said we weren't going to really talk politics and we weren't going to really talk about Trump too much and all that? Yeah. I think we're making up for all that right now. For that whole yeah, year, yeah. we never talked about Trump. Above, all yeah. of our shows <clears throat> have, have involved conversation regarding Trump. How can you not? This man is the worst president I've ever seen in the history of the United States, and yeah. definitely within my lifetime. I don't Look, know of any other president, uh, and I'm talking about John Quincy Adams. These type, I mean, we're going way back there. Oh, that is yeah. so. He's he's such so, a hate monger and just so just so not even inept just that, and, not even just the racial shit too. When he talks about uh, grab girls by the pussy and and being involved with Epstein, you know all that shit, dude. Like yeah, all are, and Weinstein, Epstein, Weinstein, Frankenstein, all these people. 
<laughs> and, you know, he, you want, and I respect you guys' thoughts and everything too, but I, the thing I have a problem with is the fact that you, I hate it when I see people say things about him and then turn around and support politicians that do the same thing. They're just better at hiding it. I mean, the government's a big shit show, dude. I mean, it really is. And I'm not saying Trump's a wonderful man. I don't fucking know him. And I, be, I honestly believe that he was... You don't have to know him to hear the shit he says, though. It doesn't matter, though. Dude, they put Hillary against him. Who was going to win? And now they I would have voted for Hillary. I would have voted for Hillary. No, and Biden, but, he's, but, he's got a health problem. He can't even think. When and, you hear him say things that, that, are, that, you know, those are coming out of his mouth. It's just like, you don't, have said, to, you don't have to know him to hear the, the way he thinks when he says things. You just but think about Biden, though, bro. It's the same thing, it, just in a different way. But Biden, for me, he's presidential. He's at least but, presidential. But see, for me, it's this, bro. Like the thing is this: like this motherfucker is 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 fucking unsensitive. Like it, it, he's he's just like he just. I get it. He's not. He, I get it. He's, he's a hate not monger. censored. He's a he hate fucking, monger. He he talks. He he says what he he says what's on his mind. But you're dealing with fucking three hundred and fifty million people that you know what I'm saying that that are looking at you as a leader. And they're like, hey, hey Vato V, let me cut you off. I'm sorry. Not 350 million people. How many people are in the world on Earth? What, 4 billion, 3 billion, 4 people? Hey, they're the, watching eight, us. 8 billion. And they're He's watching a, us. And they're yeah. laughing at us now. Mm -hmm. like, because it's like, what the fuck? You know, like, what's going on in the world? Like, hey, what's going on in the United States? They're supposed to be the leader. Why is it that make America great again? How bad was America before? Exactly. 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 You know he, that was a shot at Obama. We're going to make America great again because Obama fucked it up. That's basically what he's saying. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. Um, um, some of us got some pussy to get, and some of us, you know, <laughs> got to get some masturbation out. Um, and some of us have to, uh, you know, uh, Trump, he's a, he's a hate monger and a whore monger, okay? Some of us, <laughs> some of us got Biden, some mongers in us. We got to get out. You know why Biden hasn't picked his running mate yet? He hasn't done sniffing her damn hair yet. So, I mean, I can <laughs> you know what? Anything. You know what? At least he's not grabbing her by the pussy. I will take... Whoa, 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 whoa. I will, I, I will take grabbing the pussy all day long. Okay, yeah, I will take, yeah, I'll take grabbing by the pussy over a million of things that Trump has done, man. I mean, grabbing women by the pussy is the least of Trump's shit he's done, man. Yeah, I just don't take any of it seriously. I'm not, you know, I'm not arguing with you guys. I don't, I don't take the politics seriously. Yeah, I used to, I used to be like that too, uh, uh, Scully, until I saw what politics and some of these people can actually do to a country and Trump's the perfect example of that. But we're all going to die. We have no control over it. We're not in their league. And, and dude, do you know how many people I know that it ruins their lives, dude? They wake up every day angry, trying to find the last thing Trump said that was going to piss them off so they could share it. And it's like, dude, you guys got to stop, man. That's why I did my rant on the screen thing. Dude, people get off of it. I deleted all my, all my news pages on all platforms uh, about a week ago. So I have to go to it to get it. And I feel 100% better not having it thrown in my face every time I get in there. So, I mean, that's where I go with it. It's like people need to start connecting together and, and do less if, screen if time. You're going to change this at the end of this year, next year, or in four years. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I agree with you, Scully, but the thing is you have to, as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a country, man, you have to pay – some type of attention who your who, who your political leaders are um, because going down. you have to know what's going on in your country and maybe just maybe somebody can come along and you can have at least a little bit of hope in him that he can change things <clears throat> you know so it all starts in the smaller divisions you know with the mayor uh, the mayor the mayor of your city will have more of an effect on you than the actual president of the united states because right. it's you're within his immediate uh you know, immediate uh, municipalities and all that type of stuff. Yeah, and then, of course, the governor, too. and then the it's senator, and the Senate, and the Congress, and then the president, and all that stuff. You know, so, um, but when you have a leader, a president, who gets, he gets this person, the world is watching him, the world, and he's up there hate-mongering and doing all these things and, 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 and doing these Hitler, damn near, damn near Hitler speeches. I mean, it's going to affect, I mean, America is the leading country in the world. And as the leader of the free world, you're up there doing all these damn speeches that's promoting hate and, and division. Uh, it's it's going to cause problems. You're going to see what's happening today. People are going to stand up against that. 
and now the world is standing up against that. And that's what I'm so proud to see. And uh, that's all I have to say, guys. We got to get out of here. Folks, Mentality Show, all our mentalians, thank you for your support. We know this kind of sucks being at home. It sucks for everyone. I know it's taken away from a little bit of the quality of our show. We are trying. We're doing the best we can. You see, we went a little overtime here because we just had to get some things off our chest. Uh, folks, keep supporting us. Thank you for your support. Keep watching. It's going to get better. We're, we'll be at the studio soon, as soon as we get to OK. Uh, some of us have family members. We have children. We have, you know, elderly in our families that we don't want to get sick. So, you know, it's going to take some time. But just stick with us, folks. Thank you so much. And remember, folks, in life, you're good. But with our help, you can do the best. We'll see you, folks. I'm Peace. Out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.